So if you're like me and you're just getting into woodworking, you're going to realize you're going to need more space for your garage. That's why I built the shelving. Um, I got the plastic tool trays in here. I'll get some more. I needed a place to put the sander and I'll have three drawers on each side here. All the tools will be listed in the description. Let's see how I built this. So I wanted to make cabinets for my garage for a very long time. And I finally decided to do it this weekend. I had some extra wood. Um, this piece that you're looking at right now actually came from a table that I will probably show right now. It was an old picnic bench type thing that we just never used. So I figured I'll just take it from there. I just bought this new track saw and I will do something like a review on it but I didn't want to do it until I actually use the product see too many people on YouTube saying that this is great or this is bad and they've never operated the tool so I wanted to use it and I thought this project was a perfect project to do that with so possibly after this video I will do a review on it just to kind of give you guys my thoughts on it so far the setting up the packaging everything was great it was easy for me to figure it out I've never used a track saw before um, so it's, it's really just Pull it out of the box, plug it in, you're ready to go. All of the main cuts for this project, I used the track saw. And as you can see, that hose and the cord gets in the way so if you are questioning whether you should buy one corded or battery operated I highly recommend just getting the one that's battery operated this is a pain in the butt lots of little cuts track saw is definitely not faster than the table saw but it's a lot better than what I used to have so I'm, I'm pretty happy with it I'm actually very happy with it The painting was from that table that my kid decided to, to use as a backdrop. I'm sure most of it got on that table instead of her project.
this piece that we're looking at right now will be the base of the cabinet. And I try to make reference lines, or what I sometimes call them as like guidelines. So when I'm building, I don't lose track of what I'm doing for one, but it also kind of gives me a visual on where I should be putting the next piece of wood. countersinking and I will glue it and I'll screw the sides on. I'm going to use a two inch screw. I love these types of screws. I never strip them, never cuss at them. I never have any problems with them. So I, I'll spend the extra money for it. These are all cutoffs from an American flag, the wavy flag I have where I built. And so I needed to find a way to get this off the table, but I couldn't put it flat on the ground because of the clamps. So I had to use those. Eventually that, that will become another flag, but just not right now. And this is heavy. For those who never used the pocket hole, you want to, your drill to be on number two at the drill setting. So you want it to go as fast as it can go without the little brake engaged. And then bring that drill bit all the way down until it touches back off a little bit and then turn your drill on. If you feel like you're going to hit a knot or you're hitting a knot, um, try to replace the drill in a different spot, but I've never had that problem. It's always drilled through everything for me. And this Craig system's really helped me out. It's allowed me to build things that I would have had a lot harder time doing without it. I use those squeeze clamps to give me a flat surface to reference. I clamp them, I set them to the proper spot, and then this way when I put that stretcher, I think is what it's called, across I know it's sitting flat, I know that it's, it's perfect, and it gives me an extra hand, set of hands as all clamps do, right? And then I use the pipe clamp to clamp it together because if you're using pocket holes, sometimes that screw wants to make the, the two pieces walk. So use some sort of clamping pressure when you're installing the screws in here so that it doesn't move on you. Like I said earlier, I like reference lines. So I cut out these little blocks. This is gonna tell me the spacing I need for that top shelving area.
leveling it out again for the middle shelf. Again, with my guides, lets me know exactly where I'm going to put that piece of wood. And if you don't know what a crane fly is, they're harmless. But at that moment, I was scared. They're just big. Kind of looks like mosquitoes, I guess. But just scared me. So if you're wondering why those shelvings are not going all the way to the back or there's not a top to them, um, the trays that I have are only about 12 inches long. So I don't care to build it out. It's going to go underneath a pretty big table. So I'm just building what I, I need. And like I said, this is all quote unquote scrap wood that I stole from a picnic table and some other extra pieces I had. But so I'm kind of being picky on what I use. Just wanted to see if we can lock eyes. The carcass is done. Next step is to put the face frame on. I'm going to do it piece by piece just with some glue, the nail gun. I've done it in the past and it's worked really well so I'm going to keep doing that. Uh, if I have any overhang I'll use the flush trim bit but you'll see that if I need it. Um, the next video will be about the drawers, how I install them, and then hopefully put it to its final resting place underneath this table behind me. Oh, and I'll also stain it in the next video. All right, let's finish this up.
you haven't switched over to these little squeeze bottles, highly recommend it. It's so easy to use that little nail gun, but man, I get scared of it. I always think I'm going to shoot my finger. So if you made it this far to the video, I appreciate it. And I'm sure you noticed that I put some stain on the cabinet, even though I said it was gonna be on the next video. Things happen, I got excited, decided to do it today. I'm gonna to make another one, and it's gonna be a mirror image, and they're gonna sit underneath the table on the back, if you can see it through the, the cabinet. Um, like I said, the next one's gonna be all about the drawers, how I install them, I'll stain them, and then it's done. And then I'll move on to the next one. Hope to see you guys next time.